when we talk about diet, how can people make a change before cancer? I know your book deals a lot with people that have cancer. What about the preventative side? Well, actually, the book is really a book about prevention. Um, it's about recurrence prevention by title, but really it's a book about, about cancer prevention. Um, I think the, the key I have found in my, with my own clients is that y you can't expect it to happen overnight. You know, if you're coming from, um, you know, where are we now? We're in Universal City. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we were in San Diego, we couldn't expect to get here in five seconds. <laughs> so, you know, you have to take steps, and that's where working with a, a practitioner can be very, very helpful because they can kind of help you move from, you know, A to Z in a, in a progression that's going to make sense and that's going to be something that you can live with for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Because our approach is not, you know, you go on this, this diet and then you're done with it. Right. You know, it's not like a weight loss diet. You do the diet, that, then you're over. It's not like that. It's a, it's a lifestyle. It's, um, it's the way you live your life and, and you're going to have to, if you want to adopt that anti-cancer lifestyle, you have to change permanently. Mm -hmm. And that's not easy to do, but it's certainly very doable. You just have to do it in steps and stages, be patient with yourself, set up a system of goals and rewards again, and, and work with somebody if you need to to, to help you get there. Mm -hmm.